morning guys <laughs> I'm laying amongst my laundry um, I've got to get a lot of it put away today um, there's just I like let it build up downstairs this week and I don't know why I hate when I do that like just keep it in piles down there and not bring it up but um because I got the way back cleaned in the basement all organized and stuff I've only had to do like one load of laundry a day and like if I let it skip um, <laughs> if I let it skip that one load like I feel like there's like a hundred loads the next day it's the strangest phenomenon anyway I wanted to talk to you guys for a second um because it is Sunday um I'm clearly not at church I clearly don't look like I went to church and this is my thing with church right now is like first of all it's summer and I feel like our weekends are so crazy in the summer and I, there was really no excuse for not going like I grew up going to church and I don't want to say like I was forced into going to church because that's not the issue at all like my mom and dad enforced church like and um I mean I guess the word force is just I don't like that word but like it was a rule in our house that and it wasn't even like a rule we just knew that we woke up on Sunday mornings and Sunday mornings we were in church and Sunday evenings we were in church and Wednesday nights we had a wana or youth group. I mean, literally, like, my whole childhood was like that. So, um, as an adult, like, it is a struggle. And I really, like, I look at parents and people that go, like, every Sunday. And I know that they're... I know that their walk with Christ is good. And I'm not saying that just because you go to church means you're close to God. Like, obviously, like, there's, you know, just... Sunday morning Christians and um you know I mean I am closer to the Lord than I have been in like the past few years and like since he gave me London and stuff I have like just feel closer to him like um you know bringing like a life into the world I've had to have a lot more faith and all of that stuff and um I'm not sure you guys know my testimony but I I was raised in a Baptist home and um I believe that you have to have a personal relationship with Christ to um, go to heaven and that is what I believe and I stand firm on that and I stand firm on um, you know what the Bible says about everything and I know that the Bible is up for interpretation but salvation I do not think is up for interpretation I do believe that you have to have a personal relationship with Christ and you have to believe that he died on the cross for your sins for you to um, go to heaven and, um, I married a Christian man, and I plan to raise London in a Christian home. And the thing with me right now is, I don't want to say I'm backslidden, but I am backslidden from church. Like, it's so hard on the weekend when, like, we get family time to, I don't know, like, put London in, like, a nursery and, like, sit in church without her and I know that like to be good parents and to um you know raise her to the best of our ability we need that revamp and we need that you know community of church and stuff and I absolutely love our church and I'm really involved in our church and for some reason in the summer I'm not as involved and I hate that I'm like that like I hate that I let summer become an excuse to not go to church like we're not at the cottage this weekend we're not doing anything we're going to a birthday party today and I'm letting it like I'm letting it keep me from church so I know that I might lose subscribers about my from my beliefs but like this is something that I just believe and I believe that um, God made church for us to have each other as a you know a community and as companions to um, you know be on earth with people that believe the same stuff you know thing is us and um I just really need to get back in the groove and anyway I was just gonna let you know that I just have an amazing I have amazing girlfriends like two of my closest friends as you guys know are Emily and Stephanie whoops and they're also my childhood friends and they were raised in the same kind of home as me and Stephanie just texted me and said um where are you I thought you guys were coming today and I just I was texting out excuses and all this stuff and I just made the like center the emoji face that was, that was like this this one 
and was like, I have no excuse. Like, I'm just not there. And it really made me think about it, and I don't know. I need, we need to get back. And, like, it's not that Mike, like, keeps, you know, Mike just, like, chimes in with me, you know, it's not like he's not being the man of the house, it's just like, well, if we don't want to go, we don't want to go, and it's like, I just know that once getting there, we would just be so happy we went and all that stuff, it's just the getting up and going part, Oh, and if you don't let the God get the glory in the morning and take over your morning, things get in the way, they really do, and that's just what happens, so, anyway, <laughs> little not going to church rant for me. I f just feel guilty about it, and um, I just kind of had to share, and I, you know, I want to keep my testimony on my blog, and I don't want you guys to think I don't go to church, because I do believe that church is a crucial part of your Christian walk, and uh, I need to get back. I need to get back in the game. So, anyway, that's all for me. I'm going to put the laundry away now that Mike and London, oh, Mike and London are at the park while I'm putting laundry away, so that's what's happening right now, and I need to get that done and run the vacuum and clean up a little bit, and then I got to wrap Connor's present, because we're going to his party today. Sorry. It's a two-year-old's birthday party. I'm not that excited, but I know that London will be. She'll love it. She'll love it. We're heading to Connor's birthday party. Um, we didn't vlog very much today. I like when London got home from the park, she Turn ate lunch and to took a nap. And um, now I have her in the car without clothes on because <laughs> yeah, you had oh yeah, you had lunch when you came home from the park. <laughs> uh, I have her dress hanging up because it took me forever to iron it. And I felt like the second I got her in her car seat, it was going to wrinkle. So, I mean, I know it's not that important if her dress is unwrinkled, but I'm so OCD about wrinkles, so. Right, Mike? Yeah. Uh -huh. So anyway, we're going to Connor's party. <coughs> she wants to swing so bad. <coughs> and Mike's like, no. <laughs> you can tell. He's like, mm-mm. Yeah. 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 But they said, and they were interviewing him yesterday, and he had talked to that football mm -hmm. player friend of his who's the <laughs> He's Blow like, what is going on? They are. We've been using them. I'm using one on the Party and London wanted to play with her bubble guppy stuff and watch bubble guppies because Connor had a bubble guppy bubble guppy party, huh? And she's eating cheese and pretzels, and we're just gonna relax until we go to bed, huh? Yeah, Hoagie did eat it. Hogan ate her first batch of cheese and pretzels, and I had to get her some more. Hogan stole your dinner, huh? 
Your snack, rather. She didn't. She didn't eat very much at the party, so <laughs> we're giving her like snacks. She ate like a like half of a cupcake, a little bit of ice cream, and some noodles. So <laughs> we're giving her some food. But anyway, we're home, and it's hot, still hot as hot as Hades out there. I'm ready for fall, and I know people hate to hear people say that, but I am ready for fall. I absolutely love fall. So, I found an orange leaf yesterday, too. It was very exciting. So, it's happening. It's happening. Yeah, you're a big girl, huh? You helping mommy clean? Do you want me to spray a spot? Or do you want me to spray? Where? Right here? Right here? Oh, in there? Okay. You washing the window now? She's like, I'm gonna wash anything that I can get my hands on. I wish there was a way that I could take this out. Yeah. Since we don't need it anymore. No, don't clean the computer. Come here and clean the oh, yeah, car seat. That's not a good idea. Good job. I unsnapped this, and then it unsnapped to that. What are you cleaning? Car. <laughs> oh, the floor? Wow, you're just in a cleaning mood right now, huh? She was like, well, somebody's got it. Okay. Now he's going to clean this. Look, it's got Timbits on it. You wipe it with mommy? There, I sprayed the floor right there. Just don't slip. Oop, you're stepping on the stuff. There you go. It's right here. Good job. Mom? Hey, why don't you wipe the car seat with mommy? London. Hey. Here, I'll spray this and you clean it up here. More clay. More. Here, you saw, you missed a spot right here. Good job. Good job. You say that you don't need me. You say let's take things slowly. I hope you realize you're playing with fire. I know what heartbreak feels like.